you have to trust me when I say this right here is going to be a big hit with your family. Welcome once more to Contrast Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I would like to say a very warm welcome to you. Dear friends, here are the ingredients you are going to need for this recipe and as always, everything will be listed for you in the description box. So I'm going to start off by cutting up my onion. This is just one very large onion. I'll be using half of it in my baked vegetables, so that is going to go in my bakeware right here. And the other half I'm going to cut up and set aside. It's going to go inside the chicken to help bring some flavor and just a little bit more moisture to it. So I have my carrots here. These have been peeled and washed and I'm just going to cut them up in big pieces like this. I'm going to be roasting this with the potatoes. You can add any root vegetables that you prefer or just make it potatoes or just potatoes and carrots like I'm going to be doing. So that goes into my bakeware as well and I'm going to now cut up my lemon which is also going to go into my chicken that is going to bring flavor and a lot of moisture to it. You want that chicken to be juicy. I have my potatoes here. These have been washed like scrubbed because I'm going to bake it with the skin on. Feel free to peel it if you want. I'm using Yukon Gold potatoes. Uh, Rosette potatoes is going to be just as perfect but I like this one better and they are tiny ones so it's just easier for me to just cut into just halves and it's perfect size after that. So that has gone into my platter. I'm going to get my rosemary ready. So I'm just removing the leaves from the sprigs and these I'm going to cut into very fine pieces to go on my ch in my chicken and a little bit in the potatoes as well. So my rosemary is perfectly chopped now and I'm just going to add about a half a teaspoon, probably like a quarter teaspoon rather, to my potatoes right here and the rest I'm going to save for the chicken. I'm also going to put a few of my thyme leaves here so I'm just peeling them straight off the sprig onto my potatoes just like this. That is all, it's just going to bring a little bit more flavor to the potatoes and everything else is going to go on the chicken. So I'm going to put the rest of the rosemary in a bowl. To this I'm also going to add the thyme. So here goes the thyme. I'm just getting them off the sprig into the bowl. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pour this here into a larger bowl. Add the rest of my ingredients. So I have my ginger, onion powder, garlic powder. I'm going to leave a little bit of the garlic powder to go on the potatoes as well. Some all-purpose seasoning, salt, smoked paprika black pepper and then I'm going to mix everything together. So I'm just going to stir until everything is very well combined and then I'm going to add some olive oil to this and this is all the seasoning, the marinade, whatever you want to call it for the chicken and this is going to be perfect. So it's all mixed up now. I'm adding about a tablespoon of olive oil first just to make sure that I'm not overdoing it. So I'm going to add a tablespoon mix it and I think I'm going to end up needing a little bit more because this has become a paste. I want it to be thick but I also want it to have a little bit of uh, moisture or just be a little bit runny. This is just going to be too dry. So I'm going to add just a little bit more oil. I'll say about a teaspoon more of oil and that is it. So this I think is a perfect perfect texture now for me and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on my chicken. So my chicken has been pre-washed, dried, uh, the inside is clean and dried as well and now I'm going to go ahead and apply my marinade to it. So first of all I'm applying into the cavity first so that is the inside of it. I'm making sure that it is very well seasoned because this is going to help the flavor to get to the meaty part of the animal as well so you want to focus more on that as well and in it I have put a quarter of my onion first plus half of my lemon and I'm also putting the other quarter so in total my half onion is in here I think the cavity is full at this point so I'm not going to put the other half of the lemon in here as well and now I'm trying to lift the skin of my chicken so I can apply some of the marinade underneath the skin 
and I'm not doing such a great job I'm ripping off a little bit of the skin which I typically don't like but it's all okay so just be careful be a little bit more gentle if you can and now that I've been able to separate the skin from the flesh I'm going to go ahead and apply some marinade in here so I spooned it and then just placed it underneath the skin and I'm going to just rub it so just rub in such motion just away from you until it gets to other parts of the chest just like I'm doing as you can see it is spreading you can see the color and that way you know that it's enough flavor on your chest or no, I mean the chest of your chicken because that is the meatiest part and so that is the part that typically if you don't season well it's not going to be flavorful so now that that is covered I am just smearing the rest of it all over this chicken flipping it so the back will get a good massage as well so whatever is left I'm just going to slather on here and rub it on the wings and every little corner of this bird has to be covered because you want it to be as flavorful as you possibly can get it and I love to see the fresh herbs you know just sitting on here just like that typically I will use a like a I wouldn't say a wet rub but it will be something moist but I also like this dry one to have the herbs the fresh herbs you can use all dry ones if that's what is available to you but it's still gonna be very very good yeah I thought I was gonna miss that wing but I got it all covered as well and that is pretty much all that it takes to get this bird seasoned and now we are going to focus on the vegetables the skin which is overlapping like this I like to do my own little suture so I'm eventually going to end up covering that with some toothpicks but for now let us tie the legs of our chicken so I'm using some Bickers twine you can use uh, any thick string that is available to you food grade hopefully to just tie your your legs you try to cross them together and just make sure that it is you know tight enough and then you just form a knot and cut off the excess string and that is pretty much all it takes it doesn't have to be fancy there we go yeah and the excess string I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off just like so so since this is going to end up being almost like a one pot meal or just going straight from the oven to the table this bakeware I'm just going to go ahead and clean the edges so when it bakes it's not going to be all caked on it so if which is even something worth doing even if you're not going to carry it to the table because it's going to lessen your work of cleaning your pan or your bakeware when it's done so here I'm adding the rest of the garlic that I saved onto my potatoes I've added some salt and here is a little bit of olive oil extra virgin going on it as well I'm going to rub everything together make sure it is all mixed up I would recommend you put the onions aside and add it later on because I ended up almost disintegrating everything but I'll just arrange everything when it's going to be baked so this is pretty much good now I've added some black peppercorns as well I'm just grinding some fresh peppers on here and then I'll wrap everything on it as well I almost forgot the peppers but I caught myself just in time just look at how beautiful this is and now I'm just going to go ahead and place them around my chicken uh, be a little bit strategic with it because like I'm saying this is gonna go to the table as soon as it is done so you want it not just to be placed in places where it will cook perfectly but you also want it to be pleasing to the eye so I'm really trying to make a little bit of an arrangement I wouldn't say a pattern but I'm trying to make sure that it looks beautiful so when you bring this to the table you know everybody knows you know what's up okay uh-huh <laughs> yeah so yeah it has to be a little bit of planning but it's all up to you you can just throw everything in there like really but yeah the prettier the better we first eat with our eyes after all so pretty much all my veggies are on here now I'm going to try and find a spot for my onions so like I said I try to put it back together so I put one quarter here and I'm going to put the other quarter together and place it on here as well 
and every piece of herb remaining in that other dish I'm going to bring here as well because yes we need them all to come and play their part so the skin that I ripped off this is what I normally would do I try to be a little surgeon and make my own incision and normally I use toothpick I just don't like the skin of this any bird to show so I just bring it across you know to overlap and then use some toothpicks to just get it secured and simple yes mm -hmm, because it has to look perfect I'm going to wrap this with some um, wrap so press and seal and this is going to help me just cover it up and let it sit a little bit in the fridge while it marinates I only give this about two and a half hours ideally let this go overnight and it's going to be even better you know the flavors will work their magic some more so about two and a half hours later this is back from the fridge and i'm going to bake it now i've already preheated my oven at 350 degrees fahrenheit and this is going to bake in here for an hour and a half ready to go straight to the table just look at this just look at this perfect right and to make it even pop some more, I'm just going to throw on some thyme sprigs just to bring a little bit more color to this. And pretty much that is it. Let it sit for a little bit so it cools off the juices settle before you cut into your bird. And that is all there is to this. How simple is it? to make this gorgeous gorgeous meal and this could be a whole meal on its own if that's what your family likes don't forget to take out those toothpicks if you needed to put some sutures on your chicken okay and look at this perfect perfect we are going to have this with a little bit of carrot rice and how perfect this was ah uh, yes i know this is so beautiful so so beautiful the grocery store will not give you chicken like this okay no grocery store rotisserie chicken or even the restaurant style chicken this is so juicy this is so flavorful and it's straight from your home let's cut into this and see what we did just look skin is crispy it is firm the meat so juicy look at the meat here yes organic chicken when it's big it's just so perfect just look at that yes this is what I'm talking about and I know you are going to love it the meat is so juicy very flavorful every piece of it every part of this bird even though it didn't marinate for that long because that combination of spices or the marinade is just perfect the potatoes are perfectly cooked the carrots even softer and this was just so good they have soaked up the juices from the chicken as well and they've given up their flavors those carrots even though it's not in the chicken inside the bird itself the flavor is just amazing it smells amazing as well I know for sure you are going to love 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 this try this and you won't regret it please give this video a thumbs up and share and until I come your way next time with something delicious be loving be kind be happy